to our viewers about five minutes ago, but we do have uh, an established connection now with seen as Deborah Ferry. The reports we're getting now, two or three men arrested on the New Jersey Parkway. Deborah, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Uh, that is the information that I'm getting from two sources, that there was a van either on the New Jersey Turnpike or the Garden State Parkway, and that it was near the George Washington Bridge. There were two or three men who were in the van. The van was pulled over. Uh, it is not clear why the van was pulled over, but when it was, uh, law enforcers found uh, uh, tons of explosives inside of the van. That is right now all I'm hearing, um, but again, two to three people uh, in custody, and we are trying to get more information on that right now. Deborah, I don't mean to put you on the spot here. Do you know where on the Jersey Turnpike this was? How far from New York City? Um, we do not know that. We are looking into that. There is one report that it on the New Jersey Turnpike. There is another report uh, that it was uh, very close to the bridge, if not on the bridge. So again, these details all emerging, and we're trying to uh, piece them together. Uh, but that's what we've got so far. Two to three people uh, in custody right now uh, found with a van filled with explosives. All right, well understood. So Deborah, where are you tonight? And we're late tonight that two suspects are in FBI custody after a truckload of explosives was discovered around the George Washington Bridge. That bridge uh, links uh, New York to New Jersey over the Hudson River. Whether the discovery of those explosives had anything to do with other events of the day is unclear, but the FBI has two suspects in hand, said the truck uh, load of explosives, enough explosives were in the truck to do great damage to the George Washington Bridge. But they arrested the two suspects and they are questioning them as we speak. And all of a sudden, down there, I see this van park. And I see three guys on top of the van. And I could see that they were, like, happy. You know, they, 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 were, they didn't look shocked to me. You know, they didn't look shocked. I thought it was very strange. We had received an all-points bulletin. And uh, I just happened to see the van, you know, hollered over my lieutenant. You know, I think that could be the van. We checked it out, and it was. You know, we were all on edge, obviously, so I really wasn't looking to make friends with these people, and neither were the officers that I were with. Once we started talking to them, you know, they were pretty much like, hey, you know, we're, you know, we're not against you, we're with you.
And at that point, we were taken for another round of questioning, this time related to our allegedly being members of Mossad. The fact of the matter is, we are coming from a country that experiences terror daily. Our purpose was to document the event. Our purpose was to document the event. Watching the towers, and though I wasn't the closest, I saw them crumble to the earth like they were full of explosives. And they thought nobody noticed the news reports that they did about the bombs planted on the George Washington Bridge. Four non Arabs arrested during the emergency, and then it disappeared from the news permanently. They dubbed the tape of Osama, and they said it was proof. Jealous of our freedom, I can't believe you bought that excuse. Rocking a motherfucking flag don't make you a hero. We're at the ground zero, the devil crept. In the heaven, God overslept on the seventh. The new world order was born on September 11th. Father, forgive them for they don't know right from wrong. The truth is set you free, written down in the song. And the song has the cause of death written in cold. The word of God brought to light that has saved your soul. Save your soul, motherfucker. Save your soul. Just so conservatives don't take it to heart. I don't think Bush did it, cause he isn't that smart. It has been more than 16 years since a civilian working for the Navy was charged with passing secrets to Israel. Jonathan Pollard pled guilty to conspiracy to commit espionage and is serving a life sentence. At first, Israeli leaders claimed Pollard was part of a rogue operation, but later took responsibility for his work. Now Fox News has learned some U.S. investigators believe that there are Israelis again very much engaged in spying in and on the U.S., who may have known things they didn't tell us before September 11th. Fox News correspondent Carl Cameron has details in the first of a four-part series. Since September 11th, more than 60 Israelis have been arrested or detained, either under the new Patriot anti-terrorism law or for immigration violations. A handful of active Israeli military were among those detained, according to investigators, who say some of the detainees also failed polygraph questions when asked about alleged surveillance activities against and in the United States. There is no indication that the Israelis were involved in the 9-11 attacks, but investigators suspect that the Israelis may have gathered intelligence about the attacks in advance and not shared it. A highly placed investigator said there are, quote, tie-ins, but when asked for details, he flatly refused to describe them, saying, quote, evidence linking these Israelis to 911 is classified. I cannot tell you about evidence that has been gathered. It's classified information.